Have you ever wanted to create a custom 2D motion animation of a video frame for an intro, outro, or a transition? In this video, I'll show you how to make a growing, spinning video animation using Keynote 10.1. I created a YouTube tutorial on making a spinning video using Keynote several years ago, but it required a hack using a screen capture because animating a Keynote video frame didn't work. I have great news. Apple has fixed this problem in Keynote 10.1 and added some great features for animating video frames. Let's get started. Step one is to create a blank Keynote file with a wide aspect ratio that will match iMovie. Let's get rid of the text boxes, unless of course you want to use them to make a custom title for your animation. Now we'll need to import our video clip. I keep mine in the Photos app. I move the clips I'm working on to the Favorites album to make them easy to find. I'm going to use this 10 second video of me hiking barefoot in an Oregon forest because it has good motion so you can see the video is playing back. If we click on the Animation tab, we can see that Keynote automatically adds a Start Movie Animation command. Let's change the Start action from On Click to After Transition so we don't have any delays. We are ready to add our rotation animation. Click Add Effect, then select Rotate. That'll bring up a dialog box where we can customize the rotation. Let's go clockwise. We want a 5 second spin, and that will leave the last 5 seconds with no spinning. Get rid of the small angle, and let's do a total of 4 rotations. Now click on Build Order so we can have the rotation start as soon as the video starts playing. Now let's shrink our video frame down because we want it to get bigger while it rotates. If we open up Build Order again, we can see that Keynote added a scale animation as a result of us scaling the frame. If we look at the scaling parameter, we can see that the animation will shrink the video clip instead of making it bigger. So we've got to reverse that. Before we fix the scaling factor, let's change the duration of the scale to about 9 seconds. So it'll happen continuously even after the rotation is done. We need to shrink the starting frame, then make the ending frame bigger. Okay, we've got our starting frame size correct. Here's a little hint from you. I find it's often easiest to select an animation from the Build Order dialog box. Alright, let's get that out of the way, and now we can stretch the end size of our scale. And when we're done, we can see our scaling factor is now over 400%, so our video will expand about four times in size ready to export to a video file or movie. Let's get rid of any delays in the animation. We want a full 1080p video result. Untitled is fine. And Keynote gets busy producing our animation. All done. Let's see what it looks like. For all, it looks good, but just to give us more flexibility, we're going to change the background to green so we can use a green screen effect to put our animation over something else. Click on the background to select it. Note that nothing will be highlighted or look selected now. Change the background color to the stock shade of bright green. And let's go ahead and export to a file, a movie to be precise. Nice if Keynote remembered these export parameters, but unfortunately we have to go back in and get rid of the delays and set to 1080p again and then export. Let's go ahead and uh, open up the finder so we can find our generated file and preview it. Voila, this is exactly what we wanted. Now let's see how to use this in iMovie. We've opened up iMovie and placed another clip in the timeline. Now let's import our animation. There's our untitled clip. 
select it, and import selected. Now drag it from the media browser into the timeline. We're going to put it on top of the other video clip. Now trim the lower clip to be the same length as our animation. Okay, now we need to change the overlay type from cutaway to green screen, so iMovie will do a chroma key. There we go. Let's play it back to see what we've got. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please click like or subscribe below or leave me a comment.